Yeah. Tim Black. I find it very entertaining to listen to this weird bastard make excuses for his fetishes. Excuses for my weirdness. fetishes. That is your philosophical leader and your little movement. A man who went. Oh, you missed it. So that, Some... That's the infamous banana video. Yeah. Okay. Deep in the background. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see it. <laughs> Sodomized himself. Banana in his butt. So fun. You know, I want to talk. Yeah. Brett Key took away my virginity when I first saw this video because he's the one who showed it to me. There you go. <laughs> wow. Of course, of Just course he did. Took away my my visual virginity when I first saw the, this. <laughs> the, the beginning of that statement. Uh, Brett Keen took my virginity. <laughs> I was like, Hold no, on. no, no, he took my visual. My visual. It's not what you said at first. So he and fucked I was like, you in the Wait. eye. What's going on here? Yeah. Popped your eyeball out. No, no, I watched that video. You sticking that banana up your butt. That's what it is. <laughs> Talk about a story here. <laughs> There was a, a philosopher. It's so weird that we're watching ourselves. Watch right. It. It's very strange. Yeah. Very Back in the old Greek days named Diogenes. And uh, one of the things he did was he uh, masturbated in public. And when the authorities of the time were like, hey, you masturbated in public. He was like, no, I didn't. I was just uh, scratching, scratching my, my belly and yeah. my dick. You know, it got in the way. It just got in the way. And... Um, I think I'm the spiritual heir to Diogenes, so I think that that's where that's coming from. It's a tradition of sexual perversion that reaches back through the ages. What the fuck are you talking about, atheist? I <laughs> pity <laughs> <laughs> the fool. Oh, oh wow. Oh, I gotta. That's gotta be. If I ever do like another intro or outro, I gotta put that in there. Yeah. Yeah. It's too classic. <laughs> the fuck is you talking about, atheist? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout this video, he's all sweating and like wiping that's gotta his head be, off. Oh, Ben, that's got to be a drop. You got to, we got to get that as a drop. Yeah, yeah we, do need we it. totally need that. We need to start doing that more often with these clips in general. Like whenever we hear something really fucking off the wall like that, we got to like start building a soundboard with it. Tim the bartender. He's a Christian. He calls himself Tim the bartender. I don't. I'm, gonna... I'm not. We're. Not, I'm not. We're not 100 percent sure about his religious beliefs. Yeah, so. not sure. About I don't that. want to assume he's a Christian, but I mean, he kind of talks like he is sometimes. I don't know. Uh, he doesn't sound like one. Some weird me. shit. Don't nobody care about that. What is this shit? How many of my brothers watch this shit? Okay, no. If you not. are black and you watch. Uh, he's, he's gonna. <laughs> he's about to say if you're black and you watch this shit, they need to take your black card away or something like that okay this shit, shit let me know okay. somebody will be around properly to remove your black card motherfucker what is this shit oh. it's garbage oh, so this okay. guy this guy speaks for all black people that's good to know no he doesn't no no i'm yeah i i'm i'm very aware that he does not but um <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I mean, he it seems like in his own mind he does. Yes. You know, he's like, "I will revoke your blackness." Like, I love no. I love how he's he's uh, you know, hearkening to like southern baptist preachers by mopping his brow with a white yep. handkerchief as he does this. He I got to I mean, got to incorporate that into my video. He starts talking you really like do. one later. It should be on. a, should I use a black handkerchief cuz I'm yeah. white? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think. I think that's right. the rule. No man with rhythm should watch this shit. Your rhythm will slip away spontaneously. All coolness gone. See ya. Fucking with the amazing analyst. <laughs> analyst. An analyst. Analyst. <laughs> Get it? Because he gets in and he magnifies your asshole and he, he studies your asshole. What? <laughs> I don't know, but I like it. I like, I like, I like it too. With you. I, think I like the look on his face. I oh, know yeah, we've yeah, been yeah. saying that we've been saying that for the last two videos. Actually, of TJ's his. kind of been like, "Hey, you want to go out sometime?" Yeah, you know, I was, <laughs> I was kind of seeing, you know, if maybe Chris uh, recipro he's he gets angry when I do that. It's yeah. very it's very interesting how angry he gets. Um, <laughs> let's uh let's keep going. Well, he, yeah, he's obsessed with your butt. That's another story. No, it's very funny. Call me a homophobe. I'll call you a heterophobe, bitch. You're a heterophobic. I'm heterophobic. Okay. What's that? I oh, okay. guess that means you don't want to up women. sexuality. I don't know. Because you Did lack you sex. I lack sex. Yes, he is married. 
I am married. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's it's it doesn't. No, it's no, no, not no. like any of this is supposed. To, it's not like any of this shit touches already, on reality. Anywhere. We already talked about this. Tim Tim said, you know, whose dick did you suck to get, uh, you know, their daughter to to marry you? Remember? Right. So yeah, he knows I'm married. Said that last week. Yeah. So now, but now all of a sudden I don't get any. I guess he. I guess he thinks it's just a, a cold, barren, sexless marriage. Okay. Okay. I don't think you. I don't think no woman uploaded that video either. I think that was you looking for attention. Live said some woman uploaded. No, the you only uploaded person that that's shit. looking for attention is this bartender guy right now. I know. He's right? the only person looking for attention right now because he seems to be obsessed with you <laughs> and what you're doing with your banana and going and, and, and going into a lot of detail about it. I know. Well, like I'm, every. I'm telling you though. Uh, G man, you when you first came on the show, that's the first thing you wanted to ask was why did he put a banana in his butt? Oh, that's yeah, a good question. I, I was just curious, and I, I still want to know. Uh, I, I, I <laughs> don't know. If it was you. a ritual. Would you? He did it. You, he, he did it. For would you like him to pleasure, show you again, G man? What happened? No, I think somebody <laughs> made a bet with you. I think I think you did it because somebody made a bet with you, and you lost, and you had to do it. No, I think that's why you did. It. He no. did it because he liked it. <laughs> I just, yeah. <laughs> I've that, done. That's man. what happened. I've done plenty of weird stuff. Trust me. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah I, I've I've been watching some of your older stuff. I I, I hear you, and <laughs> I use some of that material in my videos sometimes. <laughs> uh, I'm I you know it's, it's just you yourself. need you need to do more <laughs> videos about me because I could be a gold mine for you, G man. You just go through and you just start refuting every amazing atheist video. And you'll get, you could just, you can call yourself uh, the amazing counter atheist or something. And you just go around and you refute everything I do at all times. You can be my professional e expert refuter. <laughs> what's, t what's Tim the bartender going to do then? I don't know. Oh, that's true. That Follow puts Tim, that, that puts lead, Tim out of a job. Yes. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Sorry, Tim. We forgot you were there, buddy. Let's play some more. Yeah. Market oh, employee. Yeah. And you're tight ass corduroys. I know what type of guy you are. <laughs> Last picked. Did he say tight ass corduroys? Yeah. I wear I wear giant loose baggy jeans just for tight corduroys. <laughs> just for like I know what kind reference. of guy you are. You're one of them tight corduroy guys. <laughs> yeah. The ones I'm always staring at in the mall. Yeah. I mean, How come I I've mean, never uh, heard of this guy. Because I hate them. Watching they supple asses as they walk up and down the promenade. I know yeah, he's kind of guy. How does he know you wear corduroys? He like, doesn't. Like, I don't. He, he, I don't. He doesn't. He's just imagining me in corduroys. He's like, I know you wearing them tight pants, boy. Come on. <laughs> and a belly shirt, too, so I can just see your belly button. I know what you're wearing. Oh <laughs> you wearing a black like lace thong under there? I bet you smell like I lavender. I bet you are. You just, got out of, you just got out of the shower. Yeah. <laughs> Hair still a little damp from the shower. <laughs> oh my down god! Neck in between you know what? I think I think I think when you go take your showers, you need to close your windows if you have a window in your bathroom because <laughs> he might be stalking you or something. I don't know. Wow. You might I'm be so stalking glad. you. Suds. Soap suds running down the crack of your ass. You I know what kind of Tim, guy you are. Tim the, Tim the stalker. Tim the stalker wow. bartender. Tim the stalker. <laughs> stalker. Stalker. <laughs> He been trying to mislead you, lead you astray. <laughs> he been trying to get you to be indoctrinated with the, with the word. I say with the word of nothing. But hey, not here to judge that man, but I am here to show love. Love for him sending you to this page with your nasty ass. Oh yeah, you nasty motherfucker if you came from the amazing atheist. Because he's a nasty motherfucker. Now, I know some of you are casual observers of his fuckery. Well, let me tell you what Ooh, you're going like to get here. Too. And for those normal fans of mine, those regular subscribers of mine, this video is not for you, but please sit back, drink a drink, relax, hit your feet up. Drink this a one. drink, cuss, and be just as derogatory as you're saying TJ is. He's a hypocrite. <laughs> I, I really want to know if this guy considers himself a Christian or something, so I got to chat with him. Listen, man, uh, you're doing a, a very bad job at representing my side, a very poor job of it, you know? Yeah, I don't know if he is, so I can't really say anything about nasty. that. I'm going to find out. I'm going to make it my business to find out. All right.
Yeah, he is kind of hypocritical because he, he, he attacks me for things that he does himself for the most part. Yeah, with his so, mouth. Pretty right. much his mouth is just as dirty as what he's saying that you are and whatnot. So he well, needs I mean, to go check I, himself I, before he talks about somebody else. I am a foul-mouthed, angry, opinionated motherfucker, and he is too. But, you know, I'm not coming after him on that basis. Like, man, why are you always yelling and cursing and being all foul-mouthed and having opinions and shit? Because, I mean, it'd be hypocritical of me to do because that's the exact same fucking thing I do and am. So, I mean, I actually relate a lot to this guy in terms of, like, content style because he has a similar delivery and mode of uh, fucking... I mean, maybe that's, maybe that's why he's so angry because he's like, man, I should be the one with 580,000 subs or whatever. I do this shit better than this white boy does. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, yeah, he's definitely copying you. Um, how long <laughs> has he been on YouTube? I have no idea. I have no idea. I, I like a year or something like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, try to get his attention. You know, I'm not as big as you, but I have my ways. <laughs> <laughs> you, may, you might be getting his attention now. Yeah, you, you probably may be. are. Yeah. It's for yeah, those. He's, oh, okay. he, he's watching. Tim the he's... bartender. I am G man, and I would love to have an audience with you. Because if you yeah. ever come out and say that you're a Christian, I'm going to call you out on that because you're not. Not talking like that, you're not. No. He's, he's watching right now, furiously masturbating to TJ's corduroy <laughs> ass. <laughs> I still want to know how the heck he knew you was wearing corduroys, even though you're not wearing them. It, it's it's just one of those. It's I mean that's the funny thing is like it's just a little vivid detail of his mind's eye that he just <laughs> he wanted me in tight corduroys so he put me in tight corduroys. I mean that's just how it what it boils down to. Toes who been trolling my damn page? Just trolling it. I see you trolling. Keep trolling, 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 trolling. I, him, I said, look, hey, I don't got a problem with you being gay, but don't try to force that gay man sex shit on me, bro. That ain't how I roll. So I've been I was just sticking for a banana up his butt, forcing homosexuality. Well, well, what happened was when we were when we were watching the original video, we were making like I'd say in the first video we made some slight jokes at his expense because he kind of seemed a little uptight about it, and then he got really upset. So of course in the next video we like really doubled down. Well, I did anyway. I doubled down on just like making a lot of very like. Um, homosexual or you know, like homoerotic remarks towards him, basically. So he's probably referring to that. Mm. But I mean, it okay. wasn't. It was really done in jest, just to kind of piss him off, because he's kind of oh, an okay. idiot about it. Who gets like you know really? I mean, it was. It's apparent, but I mean, he he doesn't really seem to get the joke. For him, it's just like, oh well, he's pissed off, so he can't see past the fact that he's angry. To what's actually going on, which is just me pushing his buttons intentionally, which is not hard to do because he's a very irascible person. Did you invite him to your program at all? No, but he's he he said he wants to come on, Will so I, we're gonna get him on here. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about that in a moment <laughs> because he he mentions that in this video, and I just want to get through this video here. Okay, well, we, right. we, we should probably try to get through it a little faster then. All right, because I call them butt pirates, because I call them salami smugglers, because I call them smoke pole smokers. That's what they are. Holy shit. I uh, just realized yeah. this, is a black, this is a black version of you my know, fucking go... stepdad. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's a pretty... He's, like he's preaching, but he's not preaching. He's preaching. what he's doing. He's preaching his own little gospel. You're going to skip a little bit ahead? Yeah. He's sexy. And the men don't fuck the other men in the ass. That's not homophobic. That's just the way we like it. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. bitch. I like how he's. I like how I make a few like slightly like I make a few gay jokes at him, and he ha and he feels the need to make this like long presentation about how heterosexual he is. That's because like, yeah, you know I mean like. He's that's not the reaction of an actually comfortable in his heterosexuality man, just so you know. No. Like, this just makes it look like there's something to what I said. You realize that, yeah. right? You have the self-awareness to see that, don't you? Like, this is, yeah, the, over this is the overcompensation <laughs> of someone who's, like, you know, got some sort of struggle within themselves that they're not making public. So, yeah, to give you some yeah, downer bullshit. Yeah. 
Unfortunately, because some of the amazing atheist fans were upset about what I said about TJ, my videos are being flagged. Therefore, I must discontinue all fun talk about TJ. TJ, you win. You win. The internet. That's what he wins, folks. He wins the internet. TJ. I won, won the, the internet. internet. Wow. What the fuck? All right. My first decree is all the feminists are kicked off of Tumblr. And I don't even know what else yet. But some more shit's going to happen. From now on, all, yeah, go all Google results will be porn. That'll be my next decree. Uh... So why are people flagging Looking at his channel? I don't know. We, I, I don't no, think... one, no one said to flag his channel. Yeah. I don't, we don't even know if people really are flagging his channel. That could just be a talking point. I don't know. Oh, okay. All right. Could have happened. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you if anyone, fans, if anyone, him, look, right now. if anyone did flag Tim the bartender, don't fucking do that shit yeah. in the future. We don't support that. We don't want that. That's not, you know, uh, that's not a method of support that we care to encourage. So just know that if you do choose to do something like that, you do so in defiance of, you know, what we would want. So, yeah. Tell you folks, it was it's been fun, it's been entertaining. Uh, TJ, if you want to have me on the Drunken Podcast, man, just you know send me an invitation and I will be there, and we'll keep it fun. You got an invitation? And entertaining, because I'm sure we have Bring some similarities now. but some Bring differences. I don't know if we can All get right. here now. You know. I'm still not apologizing for being an asshole. I hope you will not apologize for being an asshole because that would ruin the fun. See, I respect I mean, you as a human he, being. He basically... He just said he respects you as a human being. That's because he knows this is all a fucking pageant and a yeah. game. I mean, you know, it, 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 you, if you're on YouTube long enough, you know it's kind of like the WWE to an extent. Like you gotta, <laughs> What are you talking about, man? You gotta, Don't break kayfabe. Predetermined. Uh, you're, breaking, you're breaking kayfabe. <laughs> it's not like it's, not like it's predetermined, but I mean, everyone kind of fucking plays shit up. The people who don't, don't really get the kind of attention they want. So everyone TJ knows broke that you know, people have to exaggerate their characters and shit. I mean, it's just like the reality of how you fucking entertain people. No one wants to hear you just like sit there and dryly state your opinions in a fucking polite and respectful manner. That's boring as shit. No one likes that. People want to see you yell and scream and get passionate and irate. Like, fuck this bullshit. Yeah. Fantasize as much as about I hate what your it, opponent as is wearing. Much as, <laughs> as much as I hate to admit it, it is true. It is definitely true. Nobody wants to watch a boring channel. You're right about that.